Welcome to Sicily. I'm Juicy and I'm Sicilian. Maybe you cannot say from the color of my hair, but who in Sicily is now mixed with foreign blood? I'm lucky because mine is from the warriors of Norway. We are at the feet of Mount Etna, the most active volcano of Europe that raised up from the sea 500,000 years ago in Cata by Catania in Acitrezza and then crater after crater it reached the um, altitude of 12,000 feet and 40,000 years ago 3,000 feet collapsed causing a tsunami that reached the African coast. Why this place is so special and so black? Black because of the lava and special because when the mountain uh, smokes whether it is water vapor or ashes, she releases into the air and then into the soil the minerals, magnesium, calcium, sulfur, copper, iron, that makes this soil so fertile. This area is a special area because the breezes combine from the mountain and from the sea. The breeze from the sea brings salt in the humidity particles and this is an added value for the soil. It makes it perfect for citrus fruits. In fact, the citrus fruits were the economy of the base of the economy of the 70s here for our grandfathers, for our fathers who could study, become professionals and travelers. And when you travel, you open your mind and you get ready to meet the world. We have experienced that for uh, our invasions, a sort of incoming tourism that uh, brought here the Phoenicians this population from the lower Mediterranean, the Greeks, the Romans, the French, the Spanish, the English. The English were here to monitor the sulfur mines. There is always a reason why the English are, in, are in, in, everywhere. And the Italians, not I'm joking, but I think the first invasion of Italians were, were, was when the Sicans replaced the Siculi at the, at the, at, in the prehistorical times. When I was 18, I decided to become a professional simultaneous translator and went studying in Rome at the High School of Interpreting and Translating. I graduated from that and worked for 10 years for the US government. Then my family said, shall we make a company to run our family business? And when the family in Sicily calls, it is difficult to say simply no. But besides being Sicilian, I'm also ambitious, so I became a molecular biologist. When in uh, 2012 the health system though experienced a bad crisis, the family business, my salary, my future was put in danger and I had to find an answer for that. So I went living in a remote island, at the Aeolian Islands, uh, in Filicudi. Uh, I fell in love with nature, with wild plants and wild flowers. When the situation recovered, after one year and a half, I came back to help my family again and to work as a molecular biologist in a family lab. But I couldn't forget what I learned from the wild, from the island. So I ended up being a molecular biologist in love with nature. And what I did, I became a certified naturalistic guide. And today I work in the family lab and as a guide in, on Mount Etna and the Aeolian Islands. Let's talk about flowers now. Flowers are a perennial sun salutation. They open towards the sky, teaching and imitating breathing. They can heal the mood with the energy of the pure colors of their petals, authentic color therapy. Not to mention their smells, whose essence perfumes have always tried to capture. The most ancient plants of this side of Sicily were introduced and spread because their roots could break the lava better than men, so help providing more farming land. We are talking of brooms, pistachio trees and cactus. There are thousands of plants that give edible leaves and flowers. I have recently found out a lot of uh, recipes like uh, the petals of the yellow daisies that you let them rest in rum and then mix with a, with a butter and uh, make amazing sweet fritters. Everything in uh, Sicily has, uh, leads to food. 
uh, from if you talk about arts, medicine, architecture, at the end uh, you end up uh, talking about food because food in Sicily was a language. You imagine the foreign people arriving uh, without speaking the language and uh, uh, the only thing you could do was welcome to offering them the best food and wine you had. And I can guarantee that after a lunch at a table, a Sicilian table, you can speak the language and you can make a commercial agreement or you can combine marriages. That was the, um, the, the customs of that time. And you can find uh, many recipes, many variations of the same recipes from our uh, old grannies, but only one is the prince ingredient of the Sicilian cuisine, the tomato. When you plant a tomato, you can water it once or twice, but then it has to fight inside the soil to find water. And this is also a way for it to him to absorb the minerality of that soil and interpret that into its taste. I remember my grandma used to, she used to eat at lunch always a tomato slice with a little salt that was uh, be better than, um, than the, the food that my, my fam the rest of my family was cooking and everybody got upset, but she had just had that sliced red tomato with salt and maybe olive oil. I am in um, constant research for authentic food and ancient recipes because when uh, that the most important ingredient is time because when you use uh, your, the time and you, with your hands and patience you're offering the best uh, the best uh, pro the best you can offer someone and in Sicily we believe absolutely we believe in the power in the value of time hands and patience. I told you that I am Sicilian, that I am ambitious, but I'm also a dreamer and I have a dream to share my simple knowledge and the beauty of this uh, island with all the guests from the world that Sicily can welcome and please open this door and enter into the most extraordinary island of Mediterranean. Welcome to Sicily.